Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is May, also known as Miss Leva here on YouTube. And I wanted to put together today a video that will talk about my most used luxury purchases. I basically wanted to give you a backstory of the reasons why I chose to add these items into my collection, how I use them more or less, and why I can't seem to put them down. So if you do enjoy this kind of chatty eye candy type of video, then I would love for you to consider sticking around. Also check me out on my Instagram where I do post a lot of pictures on my luxury items and do a couple of reels on how you can style them and incorporate a little bit more of the fashion aspect of this channel as well. So I wanna start off with the only piece of footwear that I have in my collection that is basically considered luxury. I must say I don't like to spend a lot of money on shoes just because I feel like you know you're gonna walk in them you have no control of whether you hit something or you're basically just gonna use them and you know that they're gonna get damaged at some point or another and that is the reason why I've considered not splurging more on shoe items but these two that I will show you today are some that I have definitely used and abused now I am now I am talking about my Valentino rock studs in the jelly sandals. I gotta say I love these pair of flip flops. Now overall I am a sandal lover. I live in Miami so that's basically what I wear all year long. So I knew the moment that I saw these I wanted to add them to my collection. When I added the first pair which are the nude ones they were about $300 and to me that was still pretty steep for a pair of shoes but I was able to get them as a birthday gift from my family. And I gotta say that I have not stopped wearing them since. I love them for the beach, they're so comfortable. I even love the fact that you have the rock studs on both of them, so it gives you the ability to kind of dress up the shoe. I love the jelly material on them because whenever I come back from either a beach vacation or a day at the pool, I literally just give them a good wipe down with some warm water and then dry them out with a cloth and put them back into my closet. So the care of these is very minimal and they look incredible. Now the black ones my husband did get for me this year for Valentine's Day and I thought I wouldn't be a black shoe wearer. We all know how I feel about black. But I must say I have given them a lot more use than I thought. Even though they are jelly sandals, I do think that they are pretty comfy. I have even worn them to walk around, let's say, a mall for about three to four hours. And then after those four hours is when I will start feeling some pain in my heel. But other than that, they're very, very comfortable to really just go about your day and run a couple of errands. Now, I recently did a review video on this piece, so I'll try to keep it minimum. But my next most used luxury item is my YSL multi-card holder. This compact wallet is just so perfect. It does have a couple of slots in the back, which is ideal for me because I don't carry a lot of cards and a lot of cash. But in the case that I needed to, then I also have the zippered compartment up top where I can go ahead and add that. Now, like I mentioned, this card holder I tend to use a lot. It's so compact that it really fits in any handbag without you having to think about it. Now, the next item I wanted to talk about was my Gucci Marmont belt in the black leather. And I gotta say, I was not a belt person but then this whole trend of like the front tuck and the body suits started coming out and I felt like I needed to have a cute little accent, you know, on my waist in order to complete the look. So I went ahead and started looking into belts. I did purchase this one in the beginning of 2020, so I've had it now for about a year and a half and I gotta say, I barely put it down. After that, I went ahead and added a tan one from another fashion house but this one from Gucci has definitely been my go-to it's funny because once again it's black but it's definitely been one that I feel like I can match with any handbag not only can I wear it when I'm wearing jeans and a cute top but I can also wrap it around either a blazer or use it to cinch in my waist if I'm wearing more of a loose piece. I love the Gigi logo on it. I know that a lot of people are saying that it's kind of played out, but to be honest with you, I'm gonna keep rocking it until I get bored of it, and as of right now, I'm still loving it. Now let's take a break from these small leather goods and dive into a bag, and the first one 
that I have to show you guys is my pochette Matisse and this has been a bag that I have put through the ringer. Overall, this bag, I tend to use it a lot for when we do travel, but the fact that it's so compact and so comfortable to carry, I do use it as well when we're going out during the weekends. The top handle also allows me to give it more of a chic look if I wanna take it out to dinner. So I really like that I have so many ways to use it and the fact that it is canvas, it's so carefree. It does have the Vachetta handle up top, which mine has definitely gotten some love, but it doesn't bother me at all. I actually love how it patinas and this is definitely a bag that I don't see myself not loving ever. So I feel like if I do this video again five years from now, she'll still be around another piece that I definitely have used a ton since I have gotten it has been my Fendi bandeau wrappy twilly I don't know each fashion house calls it something different but it's basically this twilly style bandeau which I love to use in a ton of different ways I actually created a short styling it three different ways which I'll make sure to link it down for you guys but you can style it so many more ways than that I use it to accessorize around my bags. I love also using it sometimes as a belt. I really, really like this print. And like I said, the fact that the colors are so neutral, I feel like I can match them with anything. I tend to stick with a lot of neutral handbags. So I felt like this would be great if I did want to use it as an accessory on the handbags. And now during summer, I have gotten a ton of use of it because what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it around my hat. You can get so much wear from something like this and it being from a luxury fashion house i think is one of their most inexpensive items it ranges depending <laughs> it ranges depending on brand i have seen some for about 180 there's others that can be up close to 300 so if you do your research you can also find them in the pre-love market for a little bit cheaper I'll make sure to link some very inexpensive Amazon options down below because at the end of the day, if it gets the job done, who cares if it costs $5 or $500? But obviously, since this is a luxury video, I have brought out my luxury piece from Fendi to show you guys. My next piece is gonna come, and no surprise, but it is the mini pochette in the animated series. And I mean, come on. <laughs> We all know and love the mini pochette and any of us that owns one, I think will agree that this piece is a forever item in anyone's collection once you add it. I feel like this is Louis Vuitton's little gem that they will never get rid of. Fingers crossed anyways. I added this one to my collection back in December 2019. It was actually a gift from my husband and she got its first break now in July. So I recently added the toiletry 15, which is very similar in size. I have a comparison video, so I'll make sure to link it for you guys. And that's when I decided to put this one to rest for a little bit and use my toiletry 15. But before that, this had not come out of my purse. I do love the size and versatility of the piece. I love that it can go into any handbag so easy. I mean, unless you're carrying like an envelope style clutch, then obviously this wouldn't fit. But if you carry any other type of bag, whether it's a crossbody bag or whether it's a never full GM, you can totally switch this one from bag to bag. And what I love is that I usually just carry my essentials in here so it's easy for me just to grab and place it in a new bag without having to think if I'm leaving anything behind. All right, and now my last piece in my most used luxury purchase is my speedy v in the size 25 in the damier event print now i know what some of you might be saying may you just got that bag of course is your most used no guys seriously like i know i just got it i probably got it about two months ago but i have not put her down 
Like sometimes I'm gonna take a picture to post on Instagram and I'm like, oh my God, this feels like this is the only bag that I keep raving about. And to be honest with you, when I find something and I buy it and I love it, I don't wanna put it down. And this bag has just won my heart. It's so comfortable to carry. You can use it in so many ways. I feel like the Damier Ben print just gives me the versatility of being able to dress it down with a pair of jeans or if I don't have time to switch into another bag and we're going out to dinner and maybe I'm wearing a dress or a skirt, I can just use a top handle and I feel like it looks like a dressed up bag. So for that reason, I am enjoying it so, so much. And I can probably say that I've put it down in the past two months, five times. If that, I don't know if you can tell, but she is the bag that I'm currently using. She is stuffed with all my essentials in there. So I gotta say that this bag has totally, totally exceeded all of my expectations. I mean, I look at it and I think, why did it take me so long to add you to the collection? I've always been drawn to the speedy silhouette and the size 25 is just so perfect for every day for travel for so many different occasions the only reason why i think i was hesitating was because i was more into the whole big bag trend so i was going to end the video there but i did have to add two honorable mentions just because it is my most used luxury items and for quite some time i only had these two pieces in my collection it was the two pieces that i started out with so i felt like these needed to be mentioned as well and they are the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size and the Louis Vuitton Speedy in the 35. Now, like I said, these two bags have been with me from the beginning. I have a review video on both, so I'll make sure to link them for you guys down below. I feel like these two bags are just so perfect for any collection. Doesn't matter what it is that you want to use your bags for. I think these two will go along with anything that you need to do during the day or even during the weekend. They're also great travel bags. So I feel like you can incorporate them no matter what. So like I've mentioned, I used to be crazy about large bags as you can tell. I mean, the Speedy 35 is pretty much the same size as the mm but you can totally fit the same amount of things in both of the bags and for me that was what i was into i loved stuffing my bags i would just put random things that i wouldn't even use <laughs> but regardless of the fact i use them so 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 much i've been putting these bags through the ringer for many many years and for that reason, I felt like they deserved a spot in this video. All right, guys, so there you have it. Those are my top seven most used luxury items, plus my little honorable mentions. Now, I wanted to do this video because I feel like some of us add luxury pieces sometimes to our collections. And then when you look back at it within about two to three months, you've probably used the item once or twice. I know it's happened to me, so let me know down below if it's happened to you and with what item. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up down below. And if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing as well and joining the family. I really, really appreciate all of your support. So this is about it for this one today. I really look forward to seeing you in my next one, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, guys.